Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. A major tragedy has been averted today as the Yoruba actor Rutimi Salami narrowly escapes a armed robbery. Recently, people have been lamenting the increasing cases of traffic robbery. The modus operandi of traffic robberies in Lagos State have remained the same over the year. They lurk around either on motorcycles on foot and wait for a breakdown of vehicles or traffic and swoop on unsuspecting drivers and hold up dangerous objects, including guns break their door screens, open them, and request their phones, wallets, and other valuables and zoom away without hindrance. The Yoruba actor Rutimi Salami was robbed at Gone Point in Mile 2 part of Lagos State. He shared this short clip on his official social media platform where he narrated the event. And in his words, I'm not hot, in between trailers and they stand still traffic. Four very young boys showed up from nowhere, broke my car glass with their gun. When I refused to wind up, threatening to shoot if I and my kid brother don't drop our phones. Thank God I was sluggish to drop both phones. I gave one and while I was trying to disconnect the other one to give to them, people showed up and chased them. But they flew with two standby bags parked on the other side of the road. Please note, do not respond to any WhatsApp chats from the number 0805110432. And please speak to me directly before transacting any business with me this period. Those boys can do anything without phone. So this Yoba actor, Ruti Miss Salami, narrowly escapes being hurt by the armed robbers that attacked him in the traffic. But then, thank God, some people showed up on that, and himself and his brother are on hold. People keep reporting robbery in traffic in Lagos State, as the level of insecurity worsens every day. For people who may be asking, who is Ruti Miss Salami? Please stay with us for a short but interesting biography of this Yoruba actor, Ruti Miss Salami. Ruti Miss Salami is an award-winning Yoruba actor who was born and bred in Lagos State. He's versatile. He's also a model and a filmmaker. He has featured in several reputable television series, in which he has played different characters over the years. He has also featured in multiple award-winning movies, including Just No Married, which earned him several local and international recognitions award nominations and also backed him two awards as most promising actor of awards 2016 and the best supporting actor in VC 2017. Brutimi was born on November 30th in Suriliri part of Lagos State but when he was still really young they moved to Ajambadi part of the Lagos State where he spent most of his life. He's from a family of five and is the first son among two boys and three girls. His dad is a steel constructor engineer and his mother is a businesswoman. He grew up wanting to become an actor, though he never believed that the actors he used to watch on television were real human beings. He actually thought they were created at such a young age. He didn't enjoy much freedom growing up because his father was a disciplinarian. His mother, however, made his childhood interesting, according to him, so he ascribes everything to her because of how she trained him. At a point, he lost his confidence when he was younger because of his dad's strict nature. But luckily for him, he's in a profession where he's been able to find his voice and passion. For his education, he attended St. Mary's Northern Primary School for his elementary education in Ajagbad. For his junior secondary school, he attended Abokuta Grammar School in Abokuta part of Oakland State. He also has a degree in sociology from Lagos State University and he has a diploma in directing from New York Film Academy. Today, Roti Misalami is happily married and the name of his wife is Jumoke Salami. She's also a TSP and they have two lovely kids together, a boy and a girl. And what inspired him to join this movie profession? He says it's his passion. As a little child, as mentioned earlier, when he sees actors in movies, he used to love them. And he was in the drama group right from primary school and secondary school days as an actor. It all started from school. Also in Abelta Grammar School, he had some few costumes that he used to take to school and he, they used to act out some drama. He moved back to Lagos State in the year 1997 and he featured in a couple of drama also. So he knew he was going to do this but he never knew how to start professionally. But overall, it was passion that made Ruti Misalami join this movie industry. For him, the childhood memory that still resonates with him till today was when he was very young, wasn't permitted to fetch water from the wall by himself but one day he attempted to do this because of that his dad took him out of the house and he almost dropped him into the wall this was around 6 30 a.m luckily for him the situation was calmed by their neighbors so for Rosie Mr. Lamy, that is one childhood memory that still resonates with him till this day or now he manages his few more fans in his words to be candid i can tell you categorically that i have 85 to 90 percent of female fans and trust me 
what you do in this life and you don't get people to appreciate it, then that means you're not doing something right. So I really do appreciate my female fans a lot. I must say they are the ones that made me do more. So how else would I have handled people who made me feel good? I will of course handle them with care because I do appreciate their love and encouragement. In fact, some of them told me they are praying for me. On his experience being in the film industry and the lessons he has learned so far, Rosemary is the first person in his family that joined this movie industry because they didn't have any knowledge of how things worked in the industry. He found it hard at first. Looking in from the outside, he was sure before he joined the movie industry that he could just start shoot to the top like many great actors did. But then when he joined the movie industry, it proved difficult for him. He really suffered before he shot into the limelight. He also revealed that before he joined the movie industry, he had no fear at all. However, over time, he started getting frustrated and scared. He almost gave up many times because he was tired of the challenges. But just before he got his breakthrough and won the prestigious African Madivia's Choice Awards, he told his wife that he had decided to quit acting, but then she encouraged him to hold on a little longer, hoping in the industry was not easy for him. But the passion and his wife's support kept driving him further, and God has helped him overcome that fear. And today, Rotim is one of the earliest actors we now have in this movie industry. Aside his acting, Rotim is also a filmmaker, so he's into filmmaking. He became a producer out of frustration as well. He always tells people that even if you don't achieve what you are passionate about, you can find something related to it that will keep you in the game. For instance, if you want to be a footballer and something hinders that, you can be a coach. No one gave him the opportunity he desired, so he decided to create one and became a movie producer himself. For his most challenging role, he has not yet played the role that he will regard as the most challenging. There are still some interesting roles, but none has really challenged him so far. For Rotimi, he wants to become a philanthropist in the long run, but in the meantime, he wants to produce more movies and host more events. He will be filming and host more events. Rotimi's hobbies, he enjoys singing and dancing. But well, fortunately, he does not know how to dance and he does not like to read. He enjoys writing. However, because he likes his writing to make sense, he gets forced to read. Just like every other celebrity, Rotimi also has his grass to grace story. So we have come to the end of this episode where a major tragedy has been averted and Rotimi Salamini now only escapes and robbery. We thank God for keeping him and his brother safe. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's know two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.